Hi guys, Robin here. Welcome to my channel, Oracle Rising. So this is my channel where I try to help you guys on your spiritual alignment, your spiritual path, your ascension path. Uh, I like to talk about tips and tricks as well as throwing in the odd sort of whatever content to hopefully help us all connect as a tribe, illuminate spiritual beliefs that are outdated or maybe a new possibility for you to walk through expand your consciousness to a certain degree. So uh, today I want to talk about why we could possibly be waking up in the early morning hours. Okay, so I'm going to start with 1 a.m. and I'm going to roll through to 5 a.m. and I'm going to look at possible body issues as well as uh, issues that could be going on with your spirit. Okay, so 1 a.m., Waking up at 1 a.m. could be an indication in your body that your circulation is suffering, or you could have an in um, some sort of issue with your gallbladder. Okay, so I really like to use methods like qigong to clear out stagnant energy or harmful energy in the body, and I've got a plane flying overhead, so I'm just going to roll through. Um, for me, Western medicine is kind of a last resort, uh, so I like to approach things more of a holistic way. Can I change something in my diet? Can I do a little bit more of a clearing using some sort of a method like an energy healing or Qigong is a really strong go-to for me. It's like the same way that you can uh, check out a yoga, oh, I have a sore neck, so I need to do yoga for a sore neck. You can go to YouTube and and check in on, a, is there a Qigong for circulation? Is there Qigong for gallbladder? But, you know, you don't want to mess around too, too much. Like if it is a consistent thing and you keep on constantly waking up at 1 a.m., especially after changing your diet to include more oxygenated food or, you know, it's just not working for you, it is really time to see a doctor on a spiritual level, you could have an energy imbalance and doing too much for others. I'm all about helping people as much as possible, but I also know when to draw the line, okay? Because you're giving too much of your energy away. You definitely have to recharge yourself, especially if you're any type of light worker or empath. You need to bring yourself back to the loading dock the same way that a Roomba does. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just go and recharge. Energy imbalances can be tackled using Qigong as well, but my go-to is meditation. And I can sense that in myself right away. You know, I, I notice that there's more of an influx of negative thoughts, and that can come from the collective. Just the way that we're sharing very positive energy right now on my channel, Oracle Rising, when you go out, you don't know who you're surrounded by. You don't know who lives next door to you and what they're really like. It is their constant negativity. So that energy imbalance could be coming from somebody and you're absorbing it, okay? And that can also come from doing too much for others. So really remember your meditations. Really remember your other spiritual practices. Um, and then just... Even if you're not in the mood for things, you have to dedicate a little bit of time. You have five minutes every day to do a meditation. Even if you usually do an hour long, you're just too tired. You know, do yourself a favor by keeping your practices ongoing on a daily basis and saying no to people if you don't have the energy to help them. You know, I'd really like to help you, but can I do it tomorrow? You know, you don't have to hop to every time somebody rings a bell because they need assistance. You know what I mean? So try those things and see if you stop waking up at 1 in the morning, okay? Try to resolve that stuff. So we're going to move on to 2 a.m. The body, this can be your digestive tract. This could be your liver or your small intestine. You could have a blocked intestine. Your liver could need a cleanse. Or maybe you'd need to eliminate something from your diet. For me, it was gluten. Gluten was attacking my body. It was making me feel ill. Um, I, I spent a disproportionate amount of time in the ladies' room. Um, it affected me mentally and intellectually. Uh, it put me in a foul mood. I had no idea what was going on. 
until a friend of mine mentioned gluten. So I did the research and I eliminated it. Um, if I do want to have something, because most things that are in that, you know, gluten products like bread, I love bread. I eat gluten free, but I still take an activated charcoal tablet prior to eating anything that could have any hint of gluten in it. And it really, really, really helps. Okay. So waking up at 2 a.m. for your spirit is time to release inherited and learned beliefs. Talk about a mountainous challenge because we are not in control of the information that we absorb during our formative years. And most people form belief systems probably between the ages of seven and 10. So then you're out in the world and you start to understand that, oh, you know, maybe my parents were bigots or, you know, maybe they were biased or, you know, really extreme in a belief. And then you're finding out, wow, okay, I think they were way off on that, really inappropriate in some cases, okay? So how do you go about changing that? It is absolutely your responsibility to get a grip on what it is that you grew up and now that you've distanced yourself can understand, okay, it's time to put in my own belief system where I believe in love and kindness and compassion. Um, so that could mean stopping people in their tracks now, like, I'm not going to talk about that with you. It's too toxic. You know, that's it. I'm not going down that road with you. And then really shift to like joining communities that share your current beliefs and doing more and more and more to step back from any t ingesting any sort of media or conversation from people that are toxic in their belief system. Okay. So 3 a.m. For your body, this could be a lung issue. And for your spirit, this could be a communication from your guides and or ancestors. So lung issues, you guys. This could be indicating some sort of asthmatic condition. Maybe you have an allergic condition. Um, you know, maybe if you're a smoker, it's time to dial it back or stop completely. So there are practices that you can do. Again, Qigong is really good. Um, something about you know, your lungs, you really do need them to live, right? We all need to breathe. So again, that's something I wouldn't really mess around with. I would take immediate action. You know, if you need a, an inhaler to be able to breathe, you need to go to a doctor and get a prescription, okay? So really pay attention if you're waking up at 3 a.m. So for the spirit communication, that can be a little bit extra, okay? It can be a little bit overwhelming. You could have just had a really powerful dream um, from your guides coming in and trying to communicate with you in your sleep. So keep track of that. Why did I just wake up? Why, was I having a dream just now? Maybe I should write that down, okay? So 3 a.m., very, very significant time. I think that's the time when our circadian rhythms are the lowest as well. Somebody can confirm that in the comments. That would be great. So just let me know. Also, let me know what time is recurring for you to wake up. Like, oh, here we go again. You know, I'm wide awake. <laughs> so 4 a.m., you guys. <laughs> uh, for your body, this is bladder problems or a temperature imbalance. For your spirit, this is an aspect of ascension and expanding consciousness. Okay, so your bladder. Maybe you have a bladder infection. Maybe you're taking too much water on board before bedtime. I drink water like there's no tomorrow. Okay, so I get up in the middle of the night. <laughs> there's nothing I can do about that, but I don't think there's any illness. Um, temperature imbalance, That that's a tough one too because... We heat our homes, we cool our homes. Some people like really heavy blankets and I like a weighted blanket. So I actually sleep with a heavy blanket, but then I keep a fan on me. <laughs> it seems counterintuitive, but I'm comfortable and I can sleep through the night until my bladder wakes me up. But that's because I drink like, I don't know, 20 glasses of water a day. There's nothing wrong with me, don't worry. <laughs> 
So spirit, an aspect of ascension or expanding consciousness. And I think that speaks for itself. That just says everything. That could be just, again, you could be coming back from uh, some sort of soul journey. Your spirit is out of your body. You could be waking up when it comes back into your body. So that can be a little bit alarming, especially if you wake up with a jolt. Whoa, what just happened? You just came back from working in the spirit world in other dimensions while your body was sleep was sleeping so don't let it worry you too much here comes another plane honestly hold on so 5 a.m and i intentionally set my alarm for 5 a.m and i didn't know about this part um until i was doing the research so for body it could be your diet and a large intestinal problem so your diet i mean I eat, I'm not a raw vegan. I like warm food. Uh, I try to keep my diet as clean as possible with the exception of maybe a large bag of chips every now and again <laughs> from start to finish. I'm not ashamed, but I feel a lot better. Okay. So, um, I'm not going to push that on you guys. I mean, eat whatever you want to eat, but you do feel a lot cleaner and a lot healthier when you eliminate certain products. And especially if it is dairy, because a lot of people are lactose intolerant and they don't even know it. Okay. So something to consider. Um, so large intestine, you might want to do a Qigong routine. You might want to do some sort of fasting, um, yeah, or a cleanse, you know, and if those don't work, it is time to go see your doctor. So for your spirit, this is a peak point of spiritual awakening. And I didn't know that until I started doing the research to do this video. So I've just been on this constant path of spiritual awakening. New guides are coming in for me. New experiences are coming in for me. So if you guys are waking up at five o'clock in the morning, it's a really good sign that your spiritual path is opening up for you. You're starting to see new things. And I know a lot of people think that a spiritual awakening is going to feel like you know, a meadow of flowers, you know, populated with rainbows and unicorns, but it's not like that. It's more like one of those cyclonic uh, roller coaster rides where you're hanging on for dear life, screaming at the top of your lungs. It's messy and it's dirty, you know, and then you have these moments of pure bliss. And then, well, here we go again, because I'm going up another level and you can't go up without a little bit of like your boat rocking and getting rocked overall. So 5 a.m. is a very important time for you guys that are spiritually, spiritually ascending. It means that you've reached another level. Whew. I think I'm done for this one, guys. So let me know what time you keep on waking up in the morning and what you plan to do about it. And I hope you guys are well. Sending you love and light and many blessings. Angel number 1313 just came up. And on that note, love you guys. Bye.